This is a very interesting technique. It can, it can get quite addictive when all the autumn leaves start coming down. And so the first thing to do is, while you're out walking your dog or a walk in the park, pick up some nice leaves. Um, the ones with the ribs and the nice vein down the back work very well. Um, you can see that here we've got some beech leaves, some um, a beech, oh they're beech nut leaves, beech nuts and leaves and these are acorn leaves and it's the ribbing on the back that helps you get the texture on your eye relief. And what we're going to do is we're going to mix some eye relief and print the leaves onto a, either a bowl or a plate and then they're fired in the kiln at 800 degrees and then we put luster on top of the leaf shapes fire again and then I've added bright gold to make them shine what we have here is eye relief powder and the medium that we use is just plain old tap water and I'm dropping some water onto the eye relief with a pipette and then mix it all together a bit more water needed don't worry if you get too much water because it does dry out or if you were in a rush you could just add some more eye relief powder. It has to be thoroughly mixed. Make sure you've got all the loose powder mixed together. Then make sure that you've got whatever you're going to print the leaves onto already organised. Um, usually when I've collected the leaves I uh, sketch where I think they might work the best onto the bowl. I would do the inside of the bowl first and then turn it over and work on the outside of the bowl. But because that would be quite awkward to demonstrate on, I'm going to put that to one side and use a plate. Now you can use porcelain or bone china for this technique. And uh, I've almost forgotten, you could also use these sort of imitation leaves that you can buy for card making. This And this leaf is one that's absolutely deteriorated in the leaf mould and I thought gosh that looks very interesting, it would make a good print. So we've got the plate, we're organised, we decide which leaf we're going to use Maybe this one would work. Stir up the eye relief once more. Then get a synthetic brush and paint the eye relief quite thickly onto the back of the leaf. Make sure it's covered. Whoops. Okay. 
Then decide where you're going to put it on your plate or your bowl and put it down and press all the way around the leaf to make sure that you're getting a good impression. It's quite messy. but quite enjoyable. Then carefully peel off the leaf, hopefully leaving you a good outline of the eye relief. If you think you've missed a terrible, you know, a, a large area, just blot in or dab in a little bit of eye relief. And then it's ready to fire into the kiln. Um, fire in the kiln, and it will need to be fired at 800 degrees centigrade. This bowl has had its first firing up with the eye relief, and then when it was fired, I outlined the leaf shapes with different coloured lusters, and then it was fired again. The inside and the outside have all these different leaf shapes on. And the when you're firing luster, you fire the luster to 760 to 800 degrees centigrade again. And then after that, you can then use bright gold or, because bright gold probably is very expensive nowadays, you can outline with a, a different colour. With a fine brush, out, outline around the leaves and just a fine sponge, sponge some gold onto the leaves. And it's quite, I think, personally, I think it's quite effective. The other things that you can do are you can just put gold on top or just um, copper luster which gives quite an exciting technique to it. All of these examples and ideas can be found in this book Gold and Modern Techniques. The leaves are on page 35, Autumn Leaves. So I hope you do enjoy having a go at this unusual technique.